if it's your first time here then welcome i'm veronica and i do videos about real estate in my life i'm a realtor here in washington state so i'll add my email down below in case you know anybody that is wanting to move to the tri-cities washington area or surrounding even seattle area i have people that can help you there as well so let me know if you're looking to buy a property in Washington State. I am at an open house right now. Have my little coffee. It's Saturday and my open house is 1 to 4. It's currently 1.45. But normally I bring my laptop, my planner, my notebook. And sometimes I'll bring like my podcast stuff and get a podcast done if the open house is not that busy. I feel like sitting in an open house during the weekend for a few hours, you were probably already going to work anyway, so might as well do it at an open house where you can have people like walking in, you know? Sometimes you do get a few people that walk in and you can just get leads while you're working and planning your week or doing whatever you need to do for a few hours on the weekend. So it's like a, killing two birds in one stone. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna plan my week. I might pre-record a few episodes depending on how busy the open house is. And normally what I do is I lock the front door and obviously I have the signs everywhere. So if somebody does come in, they'll have to knock and I have time to kind of like put my stuff away really fast so that they're not walking in while I'm like in the middle of like something, you know? So yeah, that's that. So I'm just gonna do that right now. I also got my eyelash extensions back, so I feel like myself again. So that's nice. And normally for Wi-Fi, I just turn my hotspot on in the laptop and it works just fine. So I'm gonna give you guys a house tour right now. This is a builder that allows me and a few other agents to host open houses on their new construction home so it's a brand new which i think it's a huge opportunity for me so i'm so grateful for them like allowing me to host the open houses for the builder um i just asked them and i do have a relationship with the agent and i've sold many homes for them as well so i felt good about asking you know because i had provided some type of value which is i've sold many of their homes um so yeah that's that i'm gonna work a little bit and i'll give you guys that house tour okay i'm gonna show you guys really quick the house that i'm doing an open house on it is so cute it's a brand new construction house the entrance the living room I've sold a lot of these homes, the pro-made homes. They're just so cute and they're they're like affordable but good quality. And then the laundry rooms over there, two bedrooms. The master. I actually just closed on one of these last week. The master has really nice floors. Me. Oh, it has a huge walk-in closet. It's 1,500 square feet. And I think it's crazy that it has that big of a walk-in closet. But yeah, this is it. And then the backyard is pretty spacious. I opened the door because I feel like it was freezing in here, so. But it has a little covered patio. It's all fenced in. It's brand new construction with fence, which I think is a crazy deal that it has everything. And then they're still offering really cool incentives, like 3% plus 1% of closing costs, which is a huge amount of money. It's like over $15,000 and then I need to call this lender to ask him about this, which I'm always looking for things for my clients. So 
asked me how to buy your new home with only a thousand dollars out of pocket so i need to call him to see what the deal is with this but yeah i'm just gonna work a little bit this one this area i've done open house and it is a little bit slower um so i brought my laptop so i can work a little bit and plan my week for next week and maybe record a podcast or something so someone just stopped by right now and i went to go show them a few homes it is already 3 p.m it is so hot but i didn't get to record a podcast i have one hour i'll see if i'm able to do it if not i'll do it later i just came from a listing appointment right now and i went to go get my eyebrows done right after that and i'm on my way to work on a at a coffee shop right now i have a 6 p.m appointment and it's already going to be four and i've just been appointment to appointment all day today so i need to get some work done I am doing videos today. Look how cute this media room is. We came to my friend's space. She owns this commercial building and she's letting me do video here. But probably I'll end up doing this next time. It's so cute in here. But today we're gonna do it over here. I never did. <laughs> Is it approved by Priscilla? That's the real question. Oh my gosh, guys, you guys are the professionals here. <laughs> I'm scared too. Picture okay. Here. So are we ready? But to me, that's important. Like if I don't no. like no, I mean, how she's... I look on the video, I want to post it. Well, how about this? How about, how about just say that again? Say that again, like what you just said. If I don't like the video, I will post it. If okay. I don't like how I look. Okay, you can come on this side and see what you're doing. You're so this is the main shot. That's your main shot. I think we should punch out with the little ones. And then look at this one, it's a little bit of... This one's punched in, so this is like up close. That looks so good. All right, yeah, I like awesome. it. <laughs> so are we good, Priscilla? Am I your shot here? On this end? Am I shot here? Yeah, we'll start recording, but as soon as, as, soon as you're out, Okay, uh, somebody's gonna have to check because it turns off. Really can we can we change the settings so it doesn't do that? I don't know how, but yeah, yes. he does. He probably does. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Nice. Yeah, so what you're seeing here is yeah, logged with the left. with the left on top. So oh, it already has a left. It just it has a, a display left, so that way we know exactly what we're, what we're getting into. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't so if it doesn't look good. Okay, is it good over there? Yeah, that's great. Okay. So now, we need you to clap, please. Okay. Remember, don't look at any of us. Okay. So just do what you normally do. I'm just going to read this screen. Yeah, and uh, don't... I'll obviously make us look Yeah, like and don't, don't peek to the cameras. Okay. So the cameras aren't there. I know that's hard, but... Yeah. Okay. This is the biggest mistake sellers are making right now. Wait, I think I spelled that wrong. Hold on, let me read it. Okay, let me start here. The biggest mistakes sellers are making right now is pricing a home with meat on the bone to give buyers room to negotiate. It assumes defeat from the start. Okay, let me start again. <laughs> The biggest mistake sellers are making right now is pricing a home with meat on the bone to give buyers room to negotiate. 
It assumes defeat from the start. A more effective strategy is to set a compelling list price that sparks buyer's competition. Yeah, like the they'll, they'll take up every detail. inventory is going up you always need to know these numbers for just so that you know uh, last month there was 341 homes that sold in all trace cities the median sales price right now is four hundred and thirty thousand dollars it's four hundred and forty thousand in Kennewick like the median sold price of home it's around 425,000 in Pasco. So it went up a little bit. It had gone down to like 405 and then the, now they went up. Richland, it went down a little bit to 462,000. West Richland went down a little bit. The average price over there is 409,000. And then Benton City, is 408,000 it actually went up last month and then Burbank it went down a little bit there was probably like one cell that was low and then the average median days on market is 15 15 days median so it's not average I feel like average is better yeah average Average is 40. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, a lot of inventory. Like, so many homes on the market. I feel like they're, like, even though it's so nice to see that there's, like, affordable homes. Like, literally, if your client is approved for 250 you're going to be able to yeah. find a house for them, sure. which is awesome. Um, I... I did find like this new program what did you tell me about, about that a thousand dollar program oh, the, Unco? the Unco Bank one that sounds really good so if somebody tells you that they want a house and they don't want to put a lot of money down there is like you do have to have like a really good credit score I think it was like 620 or something which is not that high they can qualify for pretty much for to buy a house with only a thousand dollars so that's crazy uh, interest rates are actually at the lowest that they have been in the last 18 months so that is crazy good that means that's like a really good opportunity to talk about it a lot so that you can get buyers 
that is also a really good opportunity to like if you need to make a phone call to someone like an old lead or someone Tell that, that someone that wanted to buy a long time ago you can call them and be like hey i'm calling you because the rates dropped like it gives you an excuse to call them you know so like if you had anyone that wanted to buy a long time ago call them call them and be like oh um, the rates actually went down a lot and that will motivate them to try again you know and they're at five you said? so they're right five? now they're actually i have a little screen share right here for a 30-year loan right now they're like at 5.8 but obviously it depends on the client's credit score it could be lower um but 5.8 is like so about yeah. which they were at eight yeah. percent last year and around this around this time yeah. i have a friend at our house at eight yes so you know talk about it on your instagram stories talk about it to anyone that the rates have dropped and it's a really good opportunity and i do feel like right now like if somebody tells you should i buy right now a really good answer is right now it's actually like such a great time because buyers still haven't caught on that the rates dropped and so there's still a lot of homes and you and on those homes you could still negotiate but in a few months when everybody else catches on that the rates yeah. dropped the homes are going to go the inventory yeah. is going to go down yeah. so right now it's a good time where you could still negotiate closing costs negotiate all repairs you know so but yeah, five around five point eight. Hopefully, in the last month, there's more homes for sale than that than we've seen in six years in Tri Cities. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That inventory is increasing. That's good for buyers. For sellers, it is hard, guys. Like right now, getting a home sold, your home has to be like you can't leave one thing that i learned a lot i learned my lesson is when you go look at a home that you're gonna evaluate really really look at it now like i feel like before i would just kind of glance and then i would list it and i'd be like wait i didn't see that it was all beat up you know i didn't see like make sure that you're really looking at it and there's no more listed as is you know like there's sometimes a seller would come and would be like i'm thinking of doing repairs or not you know what do you think i used to be like oh it's okay you know you don't have to do a lot now you have to recommend repairs oh, okay. and for them to touch up you know to paint and for the home to look at its best because right now your home has to look really good and also it has to be priced good like that has always been the case but right now even more like there's no um i think one thing that we need to work on is on the objection of listing it higher and then dropping it i feel like i'm getting that a lot right now and we all are like listing it higher and then dropping it but we need to come up with an objection in the, the day they're the ones that are going to decide but i feel like we really have to push to um the price that or we to think the it price is. that we think it is so a good thing to say is i understand like never try to argue with them you know be like i understand and i would probably feel the same way but right now an average home is taking 40 days to sell and that's priced right yeah. you know if you want to sell faster and you know and I, because at the end if you list too high you're gonna end up probably getting less than what it's worth now like let's mm -hmm. say i tell you it's worth 350 and you list it for 365 at the end you might end up accepting 355 because it's been sitting on the market for so long yeah where if you would have if you would have listed it at 360 you would have most likely got 360 for it you know because it wouldn't sit on the market for so long because the longer it sits yeah. 
the more people want to negotiate yeah. you know so just really try but i get it the sellers are the sellers but just try your hardest right now with that